When we talk about making a podcast, invariably the conversation comes to we do that because spoken word audio is an incredibly powerful way to connect with an audience. And oftentimes that connection comes through being honest, being vulnerable, being genuine, telling your story. So you build that connection through doing that. So that's, let's talk about like, like that's baseline, right? So I was on a hike on Saturday. I was in this beautiful like hike high above the city of Oaxaca, um, just feeling very like peaceful and everything. And I had left a voice podcast, a voice message with my coach, kind of giving him the full rundown of how my January was and what I thought went well and what I thought did not go well and where I need to improve and all this stuff. Anyway, I'm on this hike and I'm like, I should share that personal voice message with the listeners of my podcast. And I had this thought, I'm just like, like if, if truly it's like, hey, go be vulnerable, share things that maybe are not the most easy, you know, not the easiest thing to share, why not share this three and a half minute voice message? So I did it. And I encourage you to listen to it. Uh, it's a bonus episode. You can listen to your podcast coach, wherever Apple Podcasts or on Spotify or wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. Um, and it's a pretty simple episode. But the, the other part of this, as I thought about it afterwards, is I was like, all right, that's just me talking to my coach. You know, made a couple of jokes, admitted a couple of places where I think I'm a disaster right now. <laughs> but... Um, I did it. And it comes around also to how many times do we have ideas, be it ideas for shows, ideas for content, ideas about stories we want to share, and we don't follow through with those ideas. I get it. I mean, there's a sense of like, I mean, when you listen to this episode, it's like me talking to my coach. It's a three and a half minute voice message of just like, I feel really good about these areas and I'm a disaster in these areas. But I believe that by doing that, it's who I am. And I build a better connection with you because you know who I am. But I followed through with it. And I think that's the, that's the important message with all of this is that yes, podcasts, you know, help you connect with your customers and your audience in a very intimate and powerful way. Um, but in order to connect with them in an intimate and powerful way, sometimes you actually have to follow through on those stories and those ideas that make that connection incredibly strong. 